Hello and welcome back artists and designers. Today we're going to go ahead and prepare our portrait for our painting project. So we're going to use the Pixlr site right here, but what I need to do first is I need to go find my portrait. So I went ahead over to Google here and searched up a portrait of Lionel Messi and I found this photo right here which I thought had pretty good strong contrast. You can look at the resolution of the photo here and I would say if it's under 500 it's probably going to be lower quality and you're going to see that once you put it in there. So once you have the photo that you like, we can go ahead and right click over here and we're going to go down to copy image address. It's going to copy our image address. We don't even need to download it. We're going to hop back over here to Pixlr and we're going to go to load URL. It's going to open up. I'm going to paste that in here and cross my fingers that it does load up. Did run into a couple issues where it said couldn't process image. You might have to find a different one. All right, first step is we need to get it to be the right proportion. So I'm going to hit the crop tool and I'm going to go up to ratio. And we are going to use a four for our width and we're going to use six for the height. And we're going to go ahead now, once that's cropped, it's going to maintain that proportion. And we're going to zoom in here and really crop it down to what we want, which is the portrait. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and I can just zoom in. You can hit the little plus icon right here, zoom in a little bit so that you can see this better. Okay, next step, we're going to go up here to adjustment and we're going to try auto pop. And auto pop just kind of boosts the, the colors and the contrast a little bit and I think that helps give it a little bit more contrast. So that's a good first step. Now I'm going to go up to filter and I'm going to go down to this one that says details and I'm going to actually do the remove noise and what this is going to do is it's going to kind of soften up the, the skin tone a little bit and just make it a little bit easier in the painting step. Now I think that's too much personally so I'm going to bring this down so there's none and if I go up to about three or four I think that softens it up a little bit so I can hold that down and see there's the original and there it is with a little bit of softening. I'm gonna leave the top one up here and just kind of work with a threshold. And again, this step isn't 100% necessary, but it will make it a little bit easier, a little less, less pixely in the next step. So let's hit apply and let's keep moving. Now I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go ahead and make this black and white. So I'm gonna go down to auto black and white. And there we go, we have our black and white portrait. That looks pretty good. And our last step here, or second to last step, is going to be to put that posterized filter on this. So I'm going to go back up to adjustments one more time. I'm going to go down to posterize. And you're going to get this window that pops up here. Now it starts at zero every time I kick this up a notch. So we're starting with just black and white. And then each time I add a new step, you're going to add this in between value. So we're going to go to two three, four, I'm going to recommend probably five or six. You can kind of see where that's at. You might have to make a judgment call on that one. I think I actually like this a little bit better. So I'm going to leave it at five and I think I've got a pretty good range of values in here. Um, and that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply on that. And that's pretty good to go. Now, obviously some of the detailed areas could be a little bit harder to do. You're gonna to have to wing it there a little bit, but I see my separated values and that should make my life a little bit easier. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and export our image. So I'm gonna go up to file. I'm gonna to go to export and I'm gonna do quick export. Sorry, not as layered. We're gonna do quick export as PNG. This is gonna pop up. I'm gonna go ahead and just rename this to messy. Um, there we go. I already have one in here, but I'm going to go ahead and save over that. So I'm going to hit save. Just kind of note where you're saving it. You're on a Chromebook, so it's going to save there for you. And then we'll go ahead and upload that file right back to uh, our Google Classroom assignment. Now, one final thing, although these are going to get printed out in black and white, you are going to use color on your project. So if you want to preview and see what this looks like with color, I'm going to go ahead up here to adjustment and I'm going to do hue and saturation. And I'm going to get a little pop-up window here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the colorize 
option right here. And this is going to allow you to kind of preview and see what it looks like depending on the color that you pick. So if I'm doing messy, I'm probably going to do something in the blue range here, um, potentially for Argentina. So I would probably look at something like that just to, again, give me a general sense of what my project is going to look like. Um, it's going to be printed in black and white, but you could always save a copy or take a screenshot of this one and save this for yourself just so that you could kind of see what will your project potentially look like. And there we go. I'm going to do that. You have all of your history here. So we open the file. We cropped it. We did the color pop or the contrast pop. We removed the noise, softened it a bit. We had the black and white filter. We posterized it. And then that point we exported it. And the final step was just to kind of do that uh, colorized step so that you can experiment and see what that looks like. So hopefully that helps you get your image ready for the project and uh, get that saved, exported, uploaded, and can't wait to see what those portraits look like. Good luck.